Peach player finally decides to make his move because really Orange is not in much of a position, especially he could try to run some Zerglings down, but it's just not going to be <laughs> very good with uh, with these Banelings and spine crawlers. Take a quick look at his vision. He doesn't really see too much, but he does know certainly that there are spine crawlers down there for defense. Here come the Mutalists. They're going to come in. This will be interesting to see. We have some Queens in for defense. This Queen might get focused down, but three or four more, four total Queens it looks like. One does, no, no, does not fall. Very nicely done there. Saw a little bit of that uh, transfusion. I'm not a Zerg player here, but I certainly know what it is. But I have to remember sometimes what they're called. Transfusion, keeping those queens alive, which is a very nice tactic indeed. I don't think any Mutalisks fell on that as well. We're up to nine Mutalisks for the Peach player. And continuing just to, it seems, focus primarily on those Mutalisks. Uh, another queen coming out as well at this base, so <laughs> might be going... Mask Queen himself. He does have his third queen on the way at that base. Mutalis are going to try to fly up around, but they're going to fly right into those queens. Let's see what happens here. Transfusing the queens. Excellent, excellent. Allowing those queens to stay alive and fight the fight. And that's what makes him so powerful. It looks like he does have five queens in his own set of Mutalisks up now as well, and that's certainly going to hold off those Mutalisks. Nice, uh, nice uh, play here right now by... Uh, by the orange player exoplasm trying to get up that spire in return and uh, you know it's really just sort of the pink player is still certainly in the strong position because he's just going to have to hold off because orange player will certainly run out of minerals at some point in time and even these are starting to get a little low looks to be about five four to five hundred each left so it's only going to be a matter of time until orange is out so it'll be interesting to see how the Peach player plays this. He's going to try to fly in again with these Mutalists. Try to just... Looks like he's trying to snipe out some of those... Just any, anything he can at this point. It looks like one of them flew away there. One of them blew up mid-air. I think that Peach player should really try to take another expansion at this point. Because he certainly has control of the board. As Orange is just completely locked up in his base at this point. So we'll see if, if Orange is going to try to do... Um, he does not have the, uh, the load research. So he can't get out of his base at all at this point in time he could try to do some sort of a nidus trick but i don't see anything like that as well banelings are coming in trying to they do take out an evolution chamber those broodlings come out and a few spine crawlers fall as well the queens and the mula should be able to hold them off and more mula are flying in and let's just see oh a few <laughs> we're taking a quick look at the mula here but they do hold them off and those banelings did do a nice amount of damage and did certainly widen that hole but there just isn't too much left for ground to come in and take advantage of that and the, honestly, the spine crawlers just weren't too much of an issue because, well, he has mutalisks at this point. But he should be able to, ooh, infestation pit. So we could see some infestors coming out as well. Let's get, oh, and he, and here comes a mass amount of zerglings just completely run out. They'll take it, their own advantage of that wall that came down. And they're just going to go right down into the main here, it looks like. They're going to stop at the expansion. Mutalisks, no. And here come the Zerglings running into the base. And there is nothing down here that's going to be able to stop them at this point. A few Zerglings. And this Queen is going to fall very quickly. A Banelings trying to morph in, but do not get morphed in in time. And how much can the mutal damage can the Zerglings do before the Mutalists take them out? I'm thinking a lot at this point. The Banelings mess is falling. They're going to target down the Spire as well. And these Mutalists are just not doing enough. Taking a quick look at the Zergs here. The Zerglings, they are getting a lot into the red here. Many are very weak, but he's still running around very nicely. Brutalings, run from the Brutalings, yes! And taking a look, he's taking down all those drones there as well. And the Mutalists are finally, mercifully, going to be able to take down these Zerglings. But, wow, the damage has been done. Great move by massing up those Zerglings and just running them all out. Completely unprotected down here. And the main is still, or the uh, main expansion still has plenty of uh, defense spine crawlers as well. Let's take a quick look at the units. And we do have uh, 10 to 10 Mutalisks on Mutalisk count. Orange does have 7 Queens to the 4 Queens of the Peach player as well, but, and now this is where he does have plenty of drones, but it's still to the point where he, he just doesn't have the minerals, and he's gonna have to find some way to either get out of his base, and he does have the Nidus network going down, oh no, where did he throw it? There we go, he hit it down here right behind these bushes or trees, but very interesting, we'll see what happens, very nicely done, snuck that, uh, Overlord down there, drops some creep, and here they come. And this queen is going to fall right away. More Mutalisks underway to try to control this. 
And again, how much damage can they do? Very smart. He does go and know that there must be a Nidus Worm, and he does focus down the Nidus Worm, but this hatchery is going to fall. Take the quickly taking down those units. And down here, we do have Mutalus coming out to attack up here. So two attacks going on at the same time. Looks like we have another Nidus Worm over here for Exoplasm as well. And there's nothing to stop these. We have a few Queens. They did get hit by the Infestors there. The Neural Parasite holding them in place. Very, uh, yeah, lots of, <laughs> lots of running them around. Zerglings are, looks like they're going to try to come back. No, that's Peach Zerglings coming back. Mutalus continuing to take down these defenses here. And we do have some Zerglings and Roaches. It's kind of chaos on the board here. Zerglings, <laughs> Roaches all over the place. Mutalisks flying up to try to take on these Mutalisks to try to stop it from losing another expansion. Now we just have a Mutalisk air battle going on here. Taking a quick look at the unit counts. The Mutalisks, we do have 8 to 9. Very, very close. Uh, slightly outnumbered for Orange, so he's going to have to fly back to his base. And a ton more are popping out. And here come the, the drones. This Infestor is going to see this. But they are going to take this down quickly. I, I, he did run out of minerals, so he's just trying to go for some sort of expansion here. And the Zerglings are just, I don't know, trying to be an abstraction here. I don't know. But here come the drones. I'm kind of interested to see where he wants to go for this. And an attempt is he, he might try to take this and <laughs> the natural of his opponent just to, just to kind of get back at him there. Zerglings that way. And we do have more drones up here that he is going for reserve, which is interesting. Maybe... Very interesting. He's just going to try to mine here. We do have Zerglings running into the main of Peach player. All of a sudden, Peach is in a really, really tough position because I don't believe he has any... <laughs> and that, yeah, that would be rough. The uh, Queen's coming in. All of a sudden, I, I think this has got to be it for Peach at this point because uh, he's just got the Mutalist, but he has no sort of pr production. Let's just take a look at the income. Well, you know, nothing for really either player just because if he, outmi he outmined himself and... Um, then destroyed Peach. Peach does still have the layer and one little drone. We have some Mutalisks flying around. Plenty of Queens to come. <laughs> Not much point continuing this, Peach says. And I'm wondering if that's as good as a GG, but we shall see. Drones just slowly taking the gold. Mutalisks flying around. We'll see if they can do any more damage to this main base. It's, these Queens are so slow so slow but yes it does look like peach is gonna tap out of this one <laughs> that was a pretty crazy uh zvz going on there these queens will eventually eventually get down to the main base here there's a couple a uh, couple drones but uh <laughs> it's just it's just funny to watch these queens as they try to mount an attack and they stop they just yeah that's enough we're good Another evolution chamber coming down here for some reason. Not sure what the point of that was. And there they just snipe out a couple of those mutalisks as well. Uh, you know, the orange player does not have enough for a hatchery, and that's probably why he was waiting on that. A little mutalisks battle going on here. And yes, they're attacking. <laughs> but slowly but surely, I do think that Exoplasm, yep, he does have this. And that's going to be game for that, folks. That was a fun game with some mass queens and some good mutalisks. And always the natural stealing is always great. So, everybody, thank you for watching. If you have replays, send them to jbirdstarcraft at gmail.com. And feel free to subscribe if you like the games. Thanks, everybody. See ya.